Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So a new study out of the New England Journal of Medicine has shown how an existing drug has had some spectacular results in the field of weight loss. Uh, that's enough waffling from me. Let's jump into the presentation and see what this new study on weight loss has got to offer. This is a review of a piece by Peter Doctrill that I read in the Medical Express and there is a link in the description below to the study report. In the simplest terms, obesity is the product of a body's energy output being less than the energy input. But in reality, there's nothing simple about the complex condition of obesity. Obesity has skyrocketed in recent decades and also categorizes more than 40% of adult Americans. Obesity isn't just difficult for people to endure and scientists to understand, it is also incredibly hard to treat. A commitment to fundamentally change lifestyle, which for most adults is difficult to sustain, so apart from eating and regular exercise, there are effectively only two potential options. These are surgery and weight loss medication. Now there are obviously risks associated with these two options. Surgery is invasive and carries various risks and certain complications, especially for those who are categorized as obese. As for drugs and supplements, they also don't always work and can have adverse side effects, especially wonder supplements obtained from unscrupulous sources. However, an experimental treatment recently trialed by scientists and detailed in a study published this week could open new doors for treating obese patients with a weight loss drug. In the study, which involved almost 2,000 obese adults across 16 different countries, Participants took a weekly dose of a drug called semaglutide, an existing medication already used in the treatment of type 2 diabetes. During the study, there was a control group who took only a placebo in place of the medication. Both groups received a lifestyle intervention course designed to promote weight loss. At the end of the trial, the participants who took the placebo lost a small but clinically insignificant amount of weight, but for those who took semaglutide, the effects were very pronounced. After 68 weeks of treatment with the drug, which suppresses appetite due to the variety of effects on the brain, participants taking semaglutide lost on average 14.9% of their body weight and over 30% of the group lost more than 20% of their body weight. The researchers said that broadly speaking, this makes the drug up to twice as effective as existing medications for weight loss, approaching the kind of efficacy that surgery usually yields. Professor Rachel Batram, an obesity researcher from the University College London said, no other drug has come close to producing this level of weight loss. This really is a game changer. For the first time, people can achieve through drugs what was only possible through weight loss surgery. Now, whilst the results are compelling, semaglutide dosage for anti-obesity does come, unfortunately, with some drawbacks. Mild to moderate effects were reported by many participants, and these were in both groups, and they included nausea and diarrhea. While the effects were temporary, there were enough for nearly 60 of the participants to discontinue their treatment, compared to just five in the placebo group. At present, the drug requires a weekly injection for it to work, whereas an oral form of the medication would possibly be preferred by patients in the future. More significantly, there is no data on what happened to the participants after the trial. For at least one individual, however, who spoke to the New York Times, she said that her weight began to creep up gradually after the trial was over. Professor Tom Saunders from King's College London, who wasn't involved in the study said, while drugs like this may prove useful in the short term 
for obtaining rapid weight loss in severe obesity, they are not a magic bullet for preventing or treating less severe degrees of obesity. So what about the future? Well, the study was funded by a pharmaceutical company called Novo Nordisk, and they sell semaglutide as an anti-diabetic medication. They are now tendering it to international health regulatory authorities to market the drug as an obesity treatment. The FDA, along with its counterparts in the UK and Europe, are currently assessing the data. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. I'm sure you'll agree that some of the numbers there are quite staggering. 20% with some people loss of body weight. Um, what I'd like to know though is how much of that 20% was fat and how much of that 20% was muscle mass. Because as you know, as we reach uh, our later years, sarcopenia becomes a real issue. And I think it'd be dangerous to think that you could take a pill to lose weight when actually you're losing muscle mass, which is setting you up for a whole new raft of problems uh, in later years. Another question I would like to um, pose to them and also to you is, I think this should be more of an intervention where people who are obese or morbidly obese need something to kickstart them into a new way of living. So a more healthy lifestyle, more exercise, a better diet, as opposed to this is the pill that you can take forever uh, and it's going to keep your weight down. I'd be interested to see if you think this should be a short term intervention to spur them on to um, a new regime of exercise and diet, or if you think it could be a long term pill just to keep people's weight down. Well, that's it for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. As always, please take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.